So Mason Mount is officially a Manchester United player. I really didn't think that this day would come. I really, truly believed that he would stay at Chelsea. I believed that he loved Chelsea. I believed him when he spoke about his affection for the club. The fact that he's been there since he was six years old, I thought would play a significant impact on his decision-making process. But it hasn't. Mason Mount has gone to Manchester United. He has opted to leave Chelsea to go and play for Manchester United. Now, look. I've backed Mason Mount, haven't I? I've been incredibly supportive. I've pledged nothing but unilateral, aggressive support to Mason Mount. I think he's a lovely little player. I think he's one of the best players at Chelsea. I think he drastically improves our midfield. And I think that we can't really replace him. I think what he does, particularly off the ball, is so valuable. So yes, we're going to be weaker without him. And yes, we are strengthening a rival. Manchester United have got a fantastic player on their hands at a bargain price. So all of those things considered, I can honestly say that I'm gutted. I can honestly say that I wish he'd stayed. I can honestly say that I'm genuinely hurt. I can honestly say that I think this is a sad day for the club. But I can also honestly say, sod him. Sod Mason, man. If he does want to play for Chelsea, fine. If he wants to go elsewhere, if he doesn't really love the club, if he doesn't think that Chelsea belong in his life, we've had far better players than him leave the club. And we've got far stronger without him. So sod him. But I do think it's a shame. But if I remove emotion from this, I think we have to explore what is going on at Chelsea. Why are so many good players keen to leave the club? Realistically, Mason Mount should not want to leave Chelsea. He should not want to go to Manchester United. There is no way that he should want to go there. Like, look, if he were to have gone to Real Madrid, I'm not totally blind. I'm not totally... You know, of course, I'm a partisan Chelsea fan, but I'm not an idiot all the time. You know, I know the allure of Real Madrid. I understand it. I understand the stature of the club. I understand what that club represents. And if Mason Mount, for some reason, was going to Real Madrid to link up with Camavinga and Chuamani and Bellingham, of course I would understand. The bright lights of the Bernabeu, a new look Bernabeu, a new era of Real Madrid dominance on the way, of course I would understand it. But to go to Manchester United. Now, look, I'm not being sneery about Manchester United here. Of course, I understand that they're the biggest club in the country. Of course, I understand they're a bigger club than Chelsea. That isn't the point I'm making. But Manchester United as a club, it's not exactly the land of bread and honey at the moment, is it? It's not exactly the promised land. And yet he's chosen to go there. You know, to link up with Fred and McTominay. You know, it isn't quite the dream scenario. And... Although I think Chelsea have treated him quite badly, although I think these new owners have been shambolic for so many reasons, and although I think he's been terribly underpaid for such a long time, there was an offer on the table, a reasonable offer on the table, and he chose to go to Manchester United. So look, I think he's a brilliant player. I think he's going to shine there. I think he's going to be such an asset to Ten Hag. I think he elevates their midfield hugely. I think he's so much better than Christian Eriksen. And annoyingly, there is no doubt in my mind that under Ten Hag, he will win trophies galore up there. But to be frank with you, I desperately hope he doesn't. I desperately hope it goes wrong. I've seen some Chelsea fans online sort of saying things along the lines of, sad day for the club, but I really hope it goes well for him at Manchester United. I mean, I couldn't be further from that myself. I desperately hope it doesn't go well. You know, Mason Mount will forever be etched into Chelsea folklore. He's in that picture, isn't he? the Cobham boys that won the European Cup. But it's over, and we move on. So I am very surprised. You know what else, though, needs to be discussed here? There are only three players left from that starting lineup that won the Champions League in Portugal against Man City. There are only three players that started that night still at the club. Like, it wasn't that long ago. There has been an exodus at Chelsea. You know, Ben Chilwell is still there. Rhys James is still there. Thiago Silva is still there. Every other player has gone. Now that is a worry. That really is a worry. And when you think about where Chelsea are at the moment, like we really do have to question what is going on. I think there seems to be this almost euphoria among some of our fans. They seem to be saying things like, you know, we sold so many players, we bought in so much money, we've got this amount of money off Arsenal for Kai Havertz. Jokes on them. No, no, I don't rate Havertz. I don't particularly like Havertz. I don't think he's a particularly good player and I don't really want him in a Chelsea shirt. But let's be fair, Still, if you were to do the Chelsea best eleven last season, he's in it. And he still would be in it today. You know, we haven't exactly replaced it. 
So I don't think he's good enough, but he is our best option. And he's gone for the money. So we need to get this team right because the turnover of players is ridiculous. And this crop of players that we have at the moment is simply not good enough. So there is a huge question here. Why do so many players want to leave? Why are so many of our players so desperate to get out of Chelsea? I think it is a real worry. But with regard to Mount, it's just sad, isn't it? It's sad that it's come to this. I'm honestly gutted. I think it makes our team so much weaker. You know, if you were to say to me at the end of last season, who's Chelsea's best midfield if everyone's fit? I honestly would have said to you, Kovacic, Kante and Mount. And the three of them are gone. The three of them are gone. Look, I, I think Enzo Fernandez is a good player. But I think he has an awful lot to learn. And losing Mesa Mount down that left channel. You know, he's played all over the place for Chelsea. But I think he genuinely is brilliant as a sort of number eight. But on the left side, the left channel. The left number eight. I think he's so good there. I think he contributes so much. I think he's a wonderful player. Think about how good he is. Think about his eye for a goal. Think about his eye for a pass. Even when things aren't going well for him, Mason Mount still has the ability to deliver. So we need to replace that in our team. Like, genuinely. Think, think of an example when things haven't gone his way. The World Cup. England went over to the World Cup. Mason Mount. Nobody thinks it was a particularly good tournament for Mount. But we're in Qatar. England are playing France. Mason Mount comes on. The definitive moment of the match was Harry Kane's missed penalty. Who won that penalty? It's an example that demonstrates how important Mount is. He's an effective footballer. He has a direct impact on results. You know, Kovacic is a beautiful footballer, but he doesn't have a direct impact. He doesn't change things the way Mount does. So I think that we are really, well, we're really, you know, in a, in a bad place here. And I don't quite know what we're going to do. Um, but yeah, I mean, what next? What next for this Chelsea team? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I'd be really interested to hear your thoughts, particularly if you're a Manchester United fan. I've seen that the uh, the reception from Manchester United fans that I've seen seems to be fairly lukewarm. There doesn't seem to be an over uh, overly happy consciousness among Manchester United fans. I mean, Adam McCola at times has told me he doesn't even get in their team. He seems to prefer Christian Eriksen, which I think is wild, but I'm pretty sure that Manchester United fans are about to learn the brilliance of Mason Mount. Let's hope... But that does not happen. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. I am so grateful that you have chosen to join this community. And one, there is one bit of good news today. At least we can draw a line under the Mason Mount saga. At least we don't need to discuss this anymore. Mason Mount is no longer a Chelsea player. And that is the one good thing. The saga is over. Thanks for watching. Please click subscribe.